commonly known as sea cows, manatees have been roaming around the waters for a very long time. There are three types of manatees, Amazonian, African, and West Indian manatees. The West Indian manatees are commonly seen here in Florida. These gentle giants are herbivores and can eat 15% of their body weight in plant mass every day. They can weigh anywhere from 880 to 2500 pounds and can grow up to 13 feet long. The female manatees are usually longer and heavier than the male manatees. They can hold their breath underwater for about 15 to 20 minutes and every 3 to 5 minutes they surface to breathe. With a single breath, manatees can replace 90% of the air in their lungs, unlike humans only being able to replace just 10%. Manatees are found in shallow waters of coastal marshes and rivers. During the winter, they enjoy warm, warmer waters because any temperature under 68 degrees can be deadly for them. Manatees do not have natural predators, but humans have made a big part in the threat of being endangered for all three species. In Florida, manatees are found at Crystal River, Blue Springs Park, and Manatee Sanctuary Park in Cape Canaveral. Each place has areas where they have programs to educate the public, create an awareness on what could be done to help these endangered animals. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation and Save the Manatees Club both have the mission to protect manatees and their aquatic habitat for future generations. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, FWC, Biologists work with a network of agencies and organizations to rescue manatees and transport them to rehab facilities. Supporting manatee rescue and rehab has been a fundamental aspect to Save the Manatees Club for decades. SMC has provided funding and staff assistance for multiple manatee rescues and releases, as well as funds to care for rehab and injured of cold stress manatees at a number of their facilities. Florida manatees were first protected through Florida state law in 1893. Manatees are protected by the Florida Manatee Sanctuary Act and are federally protected by both the Marine Mammal Protection Act and Endangered Species Act. In early 2017, the Florida manatee was reclassified from an endangered to a threatened species under the Federal Endangered Species Act. This change in the species status is based on an increasing population and the establishment of effective protection measures to ensure the continued of conservation of species. Humans are the biggest threats to manatees. Collision with boats, entanglements in fishing gear, loss of warm water habitat, toxins associated with red tide, cold stress, and disturbances by swimmers and divers to manatees. The way we can help is by being more considerate of what we do while in the waters. Remember that manatees can be anywhere. Please be, be alert and obey the posted speed limit. Slow down, do not feed or interact with the manatees, clean up after yourself, do not throw trash or fishing nets into the water. Today's population of manatees are about 8,800. If we as citizens take better care of manatees and be more considerate, their population will increase and they will not be considered a threat of being endangered any longer.